The Hunt First Edition. A Roblox event that actually wasn't that good. But I've compiled 34 hours worth of footage into this video so you can see for yourself. Basically, you can get avatar items by getting badges, however, you need to do quite a lot of them for each item. And there is a badge in a hundred different games that you can do by completing a special quest in each game. The first game is Please Donate, and this is one of the only times that I don't have some of the footage, but I created a dramatic reenactment using an alt account. Basically, you speak to this dude, run over here and do some cool green tube puzzles. Then you unlock the portal into here, end of dream, dramatic reenactment. You only need 5,000 diamonds in total, which you can get by mining box with diamonds in them. It only took about 3 minutes. And when you give them to Carlos... You get the badge. When I join back into the hub, you can see I have two badges. This is because I joined Petsamanda99 and instantly got the badge for reaching area 20 before. The next game I chose is Obby Be You're on a Bike, which has three quests for the badge. Beat World 1 in under 10 minutes, place top 3 in a race, and beat World 4. However, beating World 1 in under 10 minutes is very difficult. Items weren't allowed either, although they did allow them later. The next game was Lumberjack Simulator. I don't think I've played this game, but the reason I picked it is because codes are always really OP in these types of games, because I don't focus on balancing the game's mechanics, but making as many microtransactions as possible. So it took under 5 minutes to beat the boss bunny and get the next badge. Then we had Arm Wrestling Simulator, because I had already played it before and gone good just from using codes. However, you can't use your strength in the Easter world. To get the badge, you need to complete 6 quests, which I searched up a tutorial for. The first being to find these 3 golden eggs located behind the quest giver, behind the Easter merchant, and behind the entrance portal. Quest 2 is to get 300 Easter strength, where I used my auto clicker on the punching bag until I got it. Quest 3 is to defeat the Easter boss 3 times, which is pretty easy. Quest 4 is to destroy 10 Easter items on the ground. Quest 5 is a riddle, all you need to do is go up here and click this note. Finally, quest 6 is to go behind the Easter merchant and click the key. Then you can enter the heart, walk into the podium, and you'll receive the badge. The next day when I logged on, I had 5 badges. It seems one of the other games I haven't completed yet was broken, so everyone got their badge for free. Anyway, the next game I entered was The Floor is Lava, one I didn't do yet because the boss map only spawned every 8 rounds. But since I had 5 badges, I could claim the first avatar item. Then I joined Breakin 2 Story, which I played once before and actually beat the entire thing really easily. But for the badge, you only have to get up to the, past bef the part before the final boss, which is just get into the evil villain base, train and defeat the 3 waves. Next was Barry's Prison Run Obby, where you have to collect donuts from all over the map. It took a while to finish the map, and I realised I had missed one. So I completed the entire map again and got the badge. Oh, and after I got it, they updated it so all the donuts were just in the first room and were extremely easy to get. Anyway, I moved on to my restaurant too, which I had a couple of minutes of progress in. But to get this badge, you just have to serve 100 customers. I spent a bunch of money on just tables and chairs just to get plenty of customers, and after a while, finally got the badge. Next was Pull a Sword, another copy of the same kind of cash grab simulator games that they got me pasted, but I already had some strength from, guess what, codes. It took a while, so I left on auto click room, just watched some YouTube videos, then I pulled out the metal sword and got the badge. Then I accidentally walked into a portal and into a game called Death Bowl, which is exactly the same as a game called Blade Bowl. When the ball comes to you, the ball and you both light up red. You then have to click to block for about one second, and your character automatically hits the ball to someone else. I didn't really know that at the time. I thought you just click to hit the ball, but it's actually kind of easier than that. Anyway, this wasn't the boss battle, so I joined that. The attacks were powerful, and dodging lots of attacks while hitting the ball back is very difficult, so I lost my health. We're going to come back to that one. Treasure Hunt Simulator was next. It's a digging simulator and you have to get three chests. One that spawns below level 4, another that spawns below level 99, and one that spawns below level 299. It took about 8 minutes to get the ruby chest, and then another 12 on top of that to get the diamond chest, and then I found the amethyst chest after another 10 more minutes, but it had over 100,000 health. Even though my backpack was full, I could still dig it up by just holding my ass over it for 12 minutes.
which got the health down to 13,150, and then the entire dig site reset. I kept looking for it again and upgrading this stuff higher, and I found it after another 10 minutes, and this time it only took 2 minutes to break. And that entire game took 57 minutes to get that badge, which is cool. They entered Catalog Avatar Creator, and to get the badge in this, your team has to win a match, although it doesn't actually say that anywhere on the game. But uh, our team was losing. We had two people. The other team said seven. Okay, we, we did have a little bit more than two people, but we were easily losing, so another one we're getting back to. And then, of course, I kind of forgot about the vent. And when I next joined, there were only four days left. However, I did use a gift card to get Robux Premium, basically for free. And now I have like 2,200 Robux and some extra benefits in some games. Although basically none of them are games we're playing in the hunt, but anyway. The next game was Escape Running Head. The title says it all. And now I have 12 badges. And it seems I did a game called Muscle Legends that I played before, and I don't have footage of that. But anyway, now Weapon Fighting Simulator, and there are three quests to complete. Open 20 stones, which are like eggs. Get five spells from defeating enemy, which should say enemies, and beat 30 enemies. It took some time, but quests give you an OP currency, and now we have the badge. Next game, Livetopia. This one is simple. Get a wooden crane, smash it open with a hammer to discover a book of ice, jump in a swimming pool to melt the ice to get a treasure chest, build an entire home for free in two seconds, open the chest in your house to discover a safe bigger than the chest, crack open the safe three different times to get an egg and throw it, and then get the badge. Easy. Next is the game Spray Paint. I had to use a tutorial for this. Talk to this guy. A thief stole his paint cans. Oh no! Head to the subway to find the thief. He wants a portrait of himself, just literally draw a bunch of random stuff on the wall. The thief doesn't actually know where they are, but they're just located around the map. It took a while, but the tutorial person literally didn't know where they were. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. See. Then go back to the guy and get the badge. Strongman Simulator. Honestly, a really tedious one. You get an egg attached to you with rope, and you have to help guide it through the course with you without touching any of the death blocks, and there are no checkpoints. It took a few minutes, but that was only on the easy difficulty run. Now onto medium, which was harder and annoying, and longer. I didn't die during medium, but one of the final parts was really annoying. I was so annoyed with the game's music that I started playing this. And still playing the music, it was onto hard difficulty, which lived up to its name. And after 8 minutes of listening to the song and repeated failures, I finally finished. And I was saying it's just for the hard one. Some games are harder, but yeah. And for the next game, I entered Steep Steps, which I left pretty quickly, and we'll get back to that. Trust me. And now it's time for the SpongeBob Simulator, which is like Pet Simulator. Except it's not, because it's buddies, not pets, obviously. For getting the badge, you have three quests, which all involve destroying items. And this one definitely took some time, but uh, eventually I did get the badge. Next was Red Cliff City RP, another roleplay game. This one involved you crossing the map to get pieces for an artifact. A line of arrows tells you the location, so it wasn't very difficult. Then I accidentally entered another portal, and what is this game all? Survive the kill. Cool. You have to avoid the killer by running around the mansion. Other players can revive you before you completely die, if the killer does catch you. You have to find this core and survive until the end of the game. I was still running around because I thought you actually had to put it in the machine in the game, but no. And when there's one minute left, you just have to escape, so I did that through the front door, and then you can place the court in this machine in the lobby for the badge. Next was Berry Avenue Roleplay. Just collect a fuel item, a f just, just collect a couple items, then head to your house and make an Akaya bowl. That's it. Hopefully I found that somewhere, but I don't think I did. We can now claim another cosmetic item, and for some reason I can buy this. As you can see, I don't have enough Robux to buy, and it says negative down here. This happens with no other items I, I can't afford, including inexperiences and on the Robux website. Even this item on the website doesn't say I can buy it. I mean, someone in the comments, please tell me what this means. Next is Dungeon Quest. There are three quests for this. Get one piece of loot, defeat 100 enemies, and defeat six bosses. You have to do the dungeon four times in total to be able to kill six bosses, but the game is honestly pretty fun. For the next game, it was Toilet Tower Defense. Which is not really a hard one. Find a bunch of eggs in the lobby, trading plaza, and across the maps. Then it's Greenville. You have to speak to this guy who says they're a time traveler, ooh, and they're missing some pieces, so you have to get them. There are eight pieces to find, and clicking this button temporarily shows you where they are. 
a little bit tedious, but not too hard. The next portal was an Anime Dimension Simulator, and for this badge you have to beat two dimensions. It wasn't quite as fun as Dungeon Quest, it was easier to die and the abilities were mapped to the 1, 2, 3, 4 keys, but you can respawn infinitely. The next portal was Dungeons and RPG Adventure, which sounded like some of the other ones I did, so I just had to try it. In this you have to collect 35 hun eggs, which enemies will drop occasionally, not always, and it took about 10 minutes. The next portal was My Hello Kitty Cafe. Like my restaurant too, you have to serve 100 customers. This badge is pretty good. Quick to get. I went AFK and paused my recording, so I don't have footage of getting the actual badge, but we have it now. Now, Maple Hospital. This one actually has a story. Patients are getting weird and mutated or whatever, and there's a magical portal, you have to kill the eggs. Luckily, it tells you what to do next in the hunt menu. I did have to leave at some point, and it didn't save my progress, and I had to restart it. That was all good. It took 12 minutes, but I got the badge. Next, I joined a game called A Wolf or Another, but this one requires you to find an egg that spawns once per map and hold it until the end of the game. It's basically like murder mystery, but it would be really hard to find and actually keep the egg, because if you die, you lose the egg. So I decided to leave this one for later. Then I joined Doors. Luckily, I know this one quite well. However, I started a solo lobby, not realizing that there was actually a special hunt map that you had to complete instead for the badge. And I died here because there were no cabinets when the light flickered and I died to rush. Probably should have gone behind me because I think there were cabinets there, but I didn't think so that at the time. So I started another lobby with three other people, but they all died. And the door code wasn't working at level 50. Even looking at the footage when I was editing, or when I will be editing after this voiceover, yeah, it should have worked. And the figure killed me twice, once I had to pay to revive, but you can only do that once per run. It was bad luck only decided to pause to get a cat off my desk, which was fun. Then it was Life Together RP, yet another roleplay game, but this one's really easy. Find 10 eggs in the path and just take a selfie with them. The park is small and the eggs are big, so this one was quite quick. Next is Metro Life, another easy one. Get in the hot air balloon and fly through all these blue things you can see in the air. There are more than you need, so this one is quite simple. Then Brookhaven roleplay, another roleplay game. This one was simple, find a bunch of eggs around the map, around the city. It wasn't the whole map, so it was quite fun. Sonic Speed Simulator. Collect a hundred time shots. This one was quite fun, as the time shots do respawn, so you just have to run around a lot, but it does take a bit of time. Then we have Lumber Tycoon 2, in which you chop a tree and get a piece of wood, then feed it to this thing, and this happens. By the way, there are no sound effects here, unless I added them during editing, because I was watching a tutorial at the same time, and you can hear the background noise from that. So just bring it to the shopkeeper dude, who wants it for some reason, and get the badge. I went back to the floor's lava, and the map finally spoiled, but I died into the smoke, so... We're gonna get back to that again. There are three days, I'm not halfway yet, I've started with the easy ones, so they'll get harder, but that's cool. Right. But anyway, it's time for a restaurant tycoon 2. In this unit, you clicked 100 eggs, and when customers finish eating, they drop these eggs. This one took 15 minutes. Next was Tower Defense Simulator. It was quite an easy battle to defeat the ways of troops. I did it in 8 minutes and 56 seconds. And then I did another Tower Defense game, Cheese TD. Not sure what to expect here, but it was just like a normal Tower Defense. It was pretty simple. I did leak a few enemies, but still lived. After that, it was Legends of Speed. The hunt event for this was to take 3,000 steps. I did use a code for 300 steps, but it literally took under one minute, because each step you take increases the number of steps you get each time you step. Next was Rory Cat's Automated Edition, a game, a game actually based off one of my favourite book series. I've joined this game like once before. There are a bunch of quests with different points, and you need three points to get the badge. There was an egg that spawned like right next to me worth one point, and after a few minutes I found one in the river that was worth two points. Although that took me a few more minutes to find out that that was worth two points and I had got the badge. I joined slap battles after that and quickly found out you need the extender glove for 105 slaps and it would be hard to get the item in a PvP arena with others. So this is the final one that I decided to come back to later. It actually wasn't, but the next game is Ninja Legends. It's the same it's by the same people as the Legends of Speed one, the one that took under a minute. It's to get 
for this one, the quest is to get 3,000 ninja to basically the same as the steps. This one took slightly longer, but it was really easy. I was just jumping over the cell location and buying better weapons to increase my ninja to quicker until I got the patch. Next is Emergence of Respawns Liberty County, another roleplay game. This quest involved getting this note with a riddle that I used a tutorial to figure out. And then there's a coin in this room, and this room, and finally one here, and that equals batch. Then we have Sword Burst 3, which has a really cool menu. And you have to kill mobs for a chance for them to drop an egg. It's like dungeon and RPG adventure, but you're only 25. But the mobs drop them much, much more rarely. So we finish 20 minutes later. And that's the patch. And as I now have 40 badges, we can claim our next avatar item. And now, the next game is... Snowball Dobby, which is kind of like Obi, but you're on a bike, but actually kind of more fun in my opinion. You have to complete 100 challenges, which is basically just World 1. You can complete them any time, so much easier than Obi, but you're on a bike's quest. Still pretty tedious and long, but oh well. Then I chose Elemental Powers Tycoon, and I got the Lava Tycoon. Someone was already trying to kill me. For the quest, I'll do find a green egg, complete the Tycoon, and defeat a boss. So I started on the Tycoon, getting walls to protect myself from others. I zoomed out all the way and found what I thought was the egg. I missed the actual egg, then found another copy. I bossed one right after that, so I did some damage and completed that quest. And I keep working on the Tycoon, a bit of AFK, and then I finished it eventually. The next portal had the Tsunami game. You have to find an alien to get the badge, and to do that, you need to make it over to here, so the Tsunami knocks you back. After making it over there, I found out the server needs a hundred total crossings to actually be able to find the alien. So I managed to make it to the end, and then I made back to the alien spot, but the server only has 68 crossings. I can't wait that long, so I left and joined servers until I found one with 128 crossings. You then go through this gap, over the ladder, and out of the hole. And you have to walk for ages to find the alien. The next game was Need More Friends. Don't know what it's about, but there's a button to burn your bed with a flamethrower, so that's cool. It does cost a box, so I didn't do it. Otherwise, trust me, I would have. Once you find 10 crystals, you can make a portal, and then there's a bunch of obbies and numbers to find and stuff like that. And then you make it here. And they're like pretty happy, so it's good. On to Driving Empire and Car Racing. For this, you need to drive around and collect 30 different eggs, which is not hard because there are more than 30 on the map. Next is complete six races, so I did the same easy race on Solar Moon six times for the batch. After that we have Military Tycoon, and what you have to do is find 20 crates around the map, have they randomly spawn, and I lost my helicopter. So it took a while, and that's the batch. Then I joined Total Roblox Drama which is like a game show with two teams versing each other, and there's elimination. You have to survive until the teams merge around seven people. People are really chatting in this game, like after a minute there's over a hundred messages in chat. But I was doing very well until there were like eight people left, and they are about to merge, we were 20 minutes in. And then my internet cut out. We're back now to play Twilight Daycare. Now I'm a baby and I have to complete three of these needs for the badge. Next was Picky. Ouch. So, because this is a team game, other people that joined before me have already done most of the quests. I just had to get a code from the elevators, enter it into the vault door, which is actually already open, so I didn't have to enter it into, enter it into the vault door. And I just went inside and get the batch. Then I moved on to the FPS game, starting with Gunfight Arena. The only first person shooter games I've played before are Half Life and Half Life 2, but this map seemed pretty easy for some reason. I literally came second between these high level players. You know, there's just me there. You have to collect 50 items that players can drop on death, however it felt much harder on the second map, and it didn't do quite as well. Now onto Big Paintball 2, the exact same kind of game, but without guns. With paintball guns, not real guns. But this one was much more difficult, and I kept getting spawn camped, and my internet went out again. So I joined it again, I'm actually getting some good sneak attacks in a reasonable place on the leaderboard. In total I need 50 tags, which you get when you shoot someone, and they die, with the paintball gun, of course. And now we're halfway at 50 badges. Hey, do you want to know a fun fact? You should subscribe right now. Because I'm page 7 out of 14 of reading a 7,500 word script. <sighs> it took ages to write as well, of course. Next game is Drive World. For this one, you have to pick up a trailer and bring car parts to a stage and repeat that a few times. 
so very repetitive. And then there is a Mega Mansion Tycoon, you have to buy a certain amount of buttons to get eggs, to get the badge, it's a lot of running back and forth and buying stuff, and finally you can get the badge. Next is War Machines, in this you get to be a superhero and you have to kill 60 enemies. There weren't really many, so I joined a server with only one other person and completed the mission. Now for Dragon Adventures, you have to find some missing eggs. First find Father the Dragon, attack the enemies near there, enter the portal, defeat the shadow creatures and return the egg. There are 9 eggs in total, but luckily you only need one for the badge. Then Undead Defense Tycoon, which is 13 plus, ooh scary. You just have to defeat a bunch of egg zombies to get 150 eggs. So we're going to do Royal High. In this game you do a mini game where you collect eggs and turn them to the nest until you get the badge. Not much else to say. And now I'm on to Car Crushers 2, where you make money by absolutely destroying cars. There is a bunch of quests here, get money, crush cars, complete a derby match, and then we murder a car and get the badge. Then we have a dress to impress, right, start questioning who actually plays these games. But all I care about is collecting 40 bunnies across the map over two rounds to get that badge. Next is Shindo Life, which does not tell you how to get the badge at all, so we're going to leave this one for now. Then a Football Fusion 2, the most hated name on Roblox for people doing the hunt badge and trying to 100% complete it. Or what's that? Have fun playing football? What are you calling fun? Do you torture people for fun? The hardest badge yet with two quests, attempt to catch and make a tackle, but we will come back to this soon. And now we have Arsenal, an adventure stealth game that can be pretty hard and I kept dying. How could you fail? Why would you hire someone else when I can respawn? Anyway, all that's left is to shoot a helicopter down with about 40 rockets from a rocket launcher. I feel like just one would work, but it doesn't. But I have nearly 50,000 rockets on me. I'm like, wow, where am I keeping them? More importantly, how much do they worth? According to a chat GPT estimate, it ranges between approximately $7,644,940 to $76,474,400 Australian dollars. So yeah, I'm going to be selling those. And afterwards we have War Tycoon. In this one you have to find 10 blue crates in the city in the middle of the map. And this took a while because none of the tutorials were helpful. And this is badge 60, so we can claim the next avatar. Next is Carry a Friend, Team Mogobi. Here you have to complete a set of challenges with someone as you find 10 eggs. As soon as I joined, there were random people sending pair requests. I accepted, but accidentally threw my portal and partner into the portal and teleported back myself. The collaboration works by each player either being red or blue. Red players can work on red platforms, but not blue ones, and vice versa. So sometimes you have to carry players and throw them when you put them down. I joined and paired with someone else, but then they left. I pet again, but then my internet cut out. I pet again, but then they weren't getting the eggs. That kept happening, it wasn't really working, so... I invited my old account to join, and it was pretty easy for me. Now we have Car Dealership Tycoon. All you have to do is dive around and find each of these 25 bunnies. There's also a little image that kind of shows where each of them is. I had to use this to find the last three. The next game is Adopt Me. Here you have to do simple quests in three portals. The first is to collect three crabs, then to play a present shuffle game, and finally to do a minefield type game. The tiles shake a little in the last game, so it's a bit easier to find the safe one. Emergency Hamburg is up next. In this, you have to enter this van company and get a job for delivery of at least 11 kilometers, which says no roaming game, of course, except I couldn't because I had a wanted level. So I went to the police station to just get myself up and get arrested, and then I went to prison for only two and a half minutes, but then I went back to the job and only got a few speeding fines. Afterwards, we have Bayside High School. For this badge, you need to head to this portal and head to actually a pretty fun rhythm game. And I mean, I wasn't the best at it, but I still got the badge. Next is Astro Renaissance. Hopefully I said that right. Where you have to go through four rifts and get three magic shards in each. Just a bit of obbying and finding things. And then there's a simple boss to defeat, just shoot it and try to dodge its attacks. Luckily you can respawn and the attacks are very simple. Then I decided to get another free avatar item, the Vault Star Headphones. During the events, there were live streams over YouTube with video star creators AFKing in the Hunt lobbies. 
because to get this avatar item, you need to join a lobby with one of Roblox's video star creators. So when I tried to join, I was 113th in line. So I kept it running. And 30 minutes later, I got in with the headphones. I joined the game 3008, which seems to be a game where you're in kind of an infinite IKEA type center, where there's a bunch of furniture and a bunch of rooms and stuff. And at night, you have to survive from the employees by putting a base during the day. For the hunt, you need to access a computer on one of these massive pillars during day, and then you can get three objectives to complete during the next night, and you get them at night. After waiting for a long time, my objectives were travel 705 studs, easy, interact with the tall lamp, easy, and hit an employee four times, I guess without dying. Eating them stuns them, but they can still catch you. However, I ran around the whole night and could not find a single employee. Is it, it's not even a scary game at this point. So I waited until day, accessed the computer, waited until night, and got another travel objective and two others I couldn't complete and apparently a milk crate only spawns in the rarest area in the game. So we're going to come back to this game later. Next is All-Star Tower Defense, by far the easiest tower defense game. You don't even have to kill the mini boss, just to go and button for it. Obviously I did kill the mini boss because I'm amazing at everything. Deadly Decisions, a pretty simple trivia game. I knew the answer to all, every question. Now I'm going to do Collect All Pets. For this badge, you have to collect 30 unique pets by finding eggs and using your pets to break coins to buy more eggs. You can use fine pets to fuse into another rarer pet. It's about a 10 minute quest. Next, I tried the Mimic, which is another 13 plus game, in which you have to find eggs to sell for gold to buy the badge. I literally never saw the Mimic. It wasn't even scary at all. It was quick because I found a golden egg which, which sold for a lot more gold. Then it's Bike of Hell, which is the same but I'll be burning on a bike, but faster. You just have to make it to the end of 10 minutes, which I did second try. As more people make it, your bike speeds up, and that's the page. So then, I did I'll be but you're on a bike. The quests were the same. Beat World 1 in under 10 minutes, place top 3 in a race, and beat World 4. Except now, you had to beat World 1 in under 13 minutes rather than 10. I made it quite far on World 1, but it was clear I wasn't going to make it in time, so I just decided to use a teleport gun. And luckily it did count. I use it to really easily beat World 3 and 4. The teleport gun is OP. And I finally forget if you join the race world, then leave, make a free private server and join, you can do the race by yourself and always score top 3. I tried the survival game next, where you have to beat a boss, which can be done by making a crafting bench and raft, heading to the area, and using wooden club to defeat the boss, and jumping back to make sure you don't get hit, because it does do a lot of damage. Afterwards I entered Club Roblox which is a bunch of puzzles to solve and I was carrying a newborn baby the whole time which is cool. I went for Funky Friday next which I'm pretty sure is a rhythm game that I was doing horrible at. In I just started spamming keys randomly and just got a lot of points. Luckily you need to complete 4 songs no matter what score you get. Now it's Wild Horse Islands, didn't know what to expect but it was all just a simple race on a horse. Then Super League Soccer, which is definitely not as bad as Football Fusion 2. Just wait for that one. Anyway, for this you have to just complete two matches, which you can even just AFK them. I didn't. It wasn't very good. RB Battles Minigames is up next. Here you have to either win a minigame or play three in a row. The minigame I played was one we had to jump and slide around obstacles, and I made it far enough to win the minigame. After this you get a shard, then you have to do four waves of rats in a rat battle to get the badge. Next was SCP Roleplay. You have to search up how to do the quest because there's no easy way to find out. You need to become a security officer, go through this mirror portal, shoot a bunch of SCPs, get a relic and escape. On to Mega Hide and Seek where you have to win two rounds for the badge. In the first round or game at Freeze Tag, there were three hunters and one of them somehow found me in this pot. The next round was Infection, but the Seeker literally found no one, so that's one win for me. Then after a few games, I finally won another of the normal Hide and Seek game mode. Then I went with Project Smash, where you had to find a special egg on the map. On the egg's second spawn, it spawned right next to me, so that was lucky. And then I did the final football one, Ultimate Football. 
This one had a really long quest. Played through eight quarters of the game. So I just left it to AFK and turned off the recording. So no footage of the badge. And then I tried Death Will again, but kept failing. The last day to get the last 18 badges, with most of them being the hardest ones yet. The first game for today is Blade Ball, exactly the same as Death Ball. The quests are to play 5 games, block the ball 30 times and eliminate 3 people. I played my first game and won, and for some reason the elimination didn't count, I literally even said it on screen. So I played some more games to get to 5 and I met a free private server and invited my alt and get the eliminations. And then I tried Natural Disaster Survivor. Survival? I just say survive. On each map, around 4 clock spawn. If you collect a clock and survive to the end of the round, you can give it to this guy. Once you give him 3, you get that badge. You can also only carry one clock at a time, and if you die, you lose it. On my first game, I couldn't get a clock because there were so many people. So I joined the server with less people. I got a clock, but unfortunately I died. But then I managed to get another 3 clocks. Next was Combat Warriors, another ages 13 plus game. And this one is pretty violent, so I won't be showing any footage of it. I don't know why Roblox decided to include this. Anyway, I just had to reach 150 points, with a kill being worth 2 points, and assist being worth 1. After that, there was a Robby, which I can show you. Then I moved on to Creatures of Sonaria. In this one, you get a dragon and complete a series of tasks. It does take a bit of time, but it's not too bad. Next, we head back to 3008. During day, I made a base and a waypoint to not lose it. My objectives include hitting an employee three times. I also couldn't find a box seeing your TV. The employees literally don't exist. As soon as day hit, I turned around and saw an employee right there. They are everywhere now. What? How was that possible? How was that possible? <laughs> and for once, my objectives didn't include hitting employees. Yay. I started to make stairs, but before raising, I could take the attitude, the altitude one. <laughs> just using two objects, and then day came again before I could finish. But on night, on another server, I got these objectives, all I was missing was an employee. Yay! Yo, it's not moving, and I couldn't hit it until I could. Now to survive until day. And now I can see the occasional employee, why now? Anyway, I did survive, and I got the badge. Then I went to the next portal, Murderers vs Sheriff's Jewels. There are a couple of goals encoded in, rival, in riddles, but they basically involve winning a game, and a 1v1. I started in a 2v2 and was losing to two controller players, but I did win a match after that and got the match. I went back to Flora's Lava, and after 40 minutes of random maps and server hopping, I managed to get into the event map and beat it easily. Next was Bed Wars, which had a special event map that just involved collecting eggs from around the map, a really easy badge, and only 10 more to go. I joined Catalog Avatar Creator again, but our team was losing, which was just me. So in the next game I left and rejoined on the winning team. And then back to Death Bowl, and after 30 minutes of doing it, no success. I joined Total Rupert Drama, and my internet didn't cut out, and I survived in Tool Emerge, and got the badge. Then I went to Shindor Life, which, uh, yeah. Uh, you have to go around the map and find all the eggs as a team while trying to avoid the Easter Bunnies attacks. That one took a long time. But now, it was time for the worst game of all. Football Fusion 2, which I spent the next hour and a half on. The reason it takes so long is no one passes the ball to you. I only completed it because apparently this happened when I wasn't looking. After so long, I, att I apparently attempted to catch the ball and when I wasn't even trying. I was trying for so long and apparently interceptions didn't even count. And after another hour of being served with two others, I finally managed to tackle someone. Like I was super lucky. There are people who spent over 4 hours completing this quest, just because they were on 99% completion. They just did it to get 100%. And diving makes you have to tap the spacebar, but also report E as well, and it only works about 30% of the time. And the game looks pretty low quality, plus the original game got banned by Roblox. Anyway, that's a match. And yes, I walked into the street and that can was a death. I probably said it was 85 Robux, so I'm not doing that. 
and everyone never passes the boss. I managed to use my daily rewards and slap battles to get 105 slaps and get the extended glove. I made a free private service, no one would attack me. To get the badge, you have to head onto this flying plate and then get off at the castle. You then use a guard and rush into this hole to get the glove. You can use this on any X around the map until you uncover the treasure chest. Then you can get the trinket and return it to the hitman. With 95 badges, I can now claim the crown and the infinite egg. Anyway, I'm heading back to a wolf or another to try and get the egg. I joined a server with only two people this time. I was a werewolf on the first game and pretty easily won. And on the second game, I saw this and I was losing. The egg. There was still 20 seconds and it was probably only the werewolf on me left. I just had to survive. Which of course I did. Anyway, the core blocks, the core blocks death walker still says I can buy it, but nothing else does. It's just a glitch. I didn't try to buy it. It's don't always make robux from my gift card. Next, I went to fruit battlegrounds. I managed to get a legendary fruit, which is a very good. To get the badge, you need to get a double kill, but everyone in this game is sweaty, so I had to invite my ult. And after 25 minutes of running from people and trying to spawn in the same location, I killed my ult twice in a row, and that counted. Next is doors. This one's going to be a lot longer. Now I finally understood that there was a whole map especially for the hunt, although it's still going to exist, but they're going to make it a lot harder. I joined a game with three others, but I didn't understand the mechanics yet. The main one is time. You have a time limit to complete the entire game, which starts as soon as you open this door. This is a time lever. The time you have left to complete the game is shown above. When you find one of these levers, an amount of time, generally over 30 seconds or one minute, will be shown down here. When you flick the lever, it adds to your time limit, so you have more time. At that time, I had no idea what the lift did, or meant, or that there was even a time limit. This time limit also shows on the doors, which show only 50 of them. I also eventually died quite quickly due to the lookman, which damages when you look at your eyes. To avoid it, I eventually just look completely down in future playthroughs. My next game was in one other, but they left immediately. And there's also these vials, which you can use to give you speed and better eyesight temporarily. And music gets more intense as you start to run out of time. Oh, that was close. Then you can meet Blitz. It's like Rush, but it can rebound one or two times. Then it got really close again. Time was out, and I was about to die, but then I died to Blitz. Cool. Anyway, I could make a whole video on this new floor, so we'll just have to skip to the end. And now the music was getting intense, but I have to hide in the cupboard to avoid Blitz. It didn't rebound like me. I was so close. Four doors away. Three doors away. Two doors away. One door away. That's the end. Oh my gosh, that was actually insane. I was probably like less than a second from dying. And apparently after the hunt, this game is going to get harder. So I'm going to be making a video on this in the future. That I actually managed to beat Death Bolt and get Badge 99. And now for one of the hardest games, Steep Steps. That made it slightly easier since the start of the hunt, but not by much. Luckily, I found two friends after some time who helped me through the whole thing. Otherwise, this, fighter would, this video would almost definitely be touted how I nearly got every badge in the hunt. Thank you to these two so much. And that is Badge 100. I 100%ed the entire event, and it took 34 hours. Apparently, Roblox used to have an event called Egg Hunt, which players really enjoyed. In 2 and 2021, they released something that looks similar to this year's event, but it was called Metaverse Champions, and there was a badge with the description of goodbye, meaning that no more Egg Hunts would be held. 
And this hunt was kind of fun, but Roblox had such similar games and apparently only gave developers one to two weeks to work on the special event for it, so that's why some games had really basic ones. So the hunt first edition wasn't really that good an event. According to Roblox's blog page, it was successful though. I definitely think it could be better, but if you enjoyed it, then good job. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please make sure to subscribe and like the video. Goodbye.